Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light Hey darling We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now And get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Well, good morning everyone. Welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm so glad you're here. Today, this week, is I'm doing the Tribute to Pioneer I'm, Woman. I'm doing three videos for each tribute I do um, for each chef. So this week, there'll be three Pioneer Woman videos. However... Today's video is not one of them. They will be on, I did one yesterday, the other two will be on Thursday and Friday. So if you're here for the Pioneer Woman, that is not what this video is. Just come back on Thursday and Friday and we will have two more of her videos. I did the entree video yesterday, Thursday will be the side dish, Friday will be the dessert. But today's video is kind of a review video of a product that was sent to me. So I'm going to share with you how, what I think, I'm going to show it to you, and I'm going to demonstrate making two things in it. So we'll go on with that video. I hope you enjoy. Hey everyone, welcome to the Farm and Pastor's Wife. I'm actually so glad you are here. I am going to do a trial run on my new Comfy, C-O-M-F-E-E, -E, air fryer. It has so many functions, it is not even funny. Um, it dehydrates, it does cookies, toast, proof, does a rotisserie, air broil, reheat, bake, air roast, warm pizza, air fry. Now let me just say, when my, I was a new YouTuber when I was just getting into it and companies would reach out and say, will you do a review of our product or can we sponsor a video? I was so excited. I thought that was the greatest thing and I said, sure. And anyway, um, I, as the channel grew and I became, did more and more of these, I decided to become a little bit more selective. Well, Bryant and I have changed our diet. We're doing a lot of meat, a lot of um, protein, basically meat. And um, so I thought this would be perfect to do a trial run with this. I have the basket type air fryer and I absolutely love it. Um, but I thought this, we could, since both of us are doing it, we could do a little bit more. So let me tell you what I'm first and foremost most uh, impressed by. It's just, it looks sleek, I think. It just looks super sleek. It's not huge. Now it does take up a little bit more room on my counter than I would probably like, but the, I'm just one of those who doesn't like anything on the counter except a few knickknacks here and there. But it, I have seen a much bigger, and I just think it's clean looking. It's very in, um, industrial looking. So, um, the other thing I like, now this is kind of funny, when I unboxed it and I got it out, I kept the packet with the book, the instructions and all that in it and I was going to read it. Well, in the process of us getting a rug and new bar stools and moving furniture around, I think someone accidentally threw the instructions and threw everything away about it. But, even though those are gone. Ah, this is so easy to figure out, so easy to work. You truly don't need the instructions, but keep them if you get them. But I will also share their link down below. So the only thing that was in here that I didn't know what it was, was these little things. But I do believe I have figured it out. It does have a rotisserie option. So I do believe these things fit to secure the chicken, to help support the chicken on the rotisserie. I think it's what these are for. Um, but those were the only thing I could not figure out. And then it dawned on me. I bet that, you know, it kind of pokes into the chicken to keep it secure and turning on the rotisserie 
stick. So, I don't know, we'll see. But um, I'm probably not gonna do rotisserie in this video, but if I do one, I'll definitely bring you along and share it with you. Uh, the one I wanna start with is the dehydrate mode. We all know how an air fryer works. We know it's a convection, just air moving around um, and, and frying up what it is. So um, I thought we will air fry because that's the main function. But the first thing I wanna do in this video is dehydrate. And I wanna get that started because it does take a while. So let me grab everything out. I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna do it because I want to use two things instead of just one because I have a lot of meat that I wanna get in here. I'm also gonna use, this is probably the biscuit or pizza tray, but I'm actually gonna cover it with tin foil and use it for a drippage tray. Uh, because I do want to save the drippings from the meat I'm going to dehydrate. So, let me get that covered in tin foil. I'm going to get my meat out and I'll meet you back right here at the air fryer in just a minute. I have these ribeye steak type things that are cut super duper thin. And we're going to get them out. Try to. And... I'm going to lay them out on this cutting board so we can salt them up a little bit. And this is what we're going to air fry. Now, I don't know how many I'm going to be able to fit, but I know I can definitely fit more in here than I could in the other air fryer. And I think both types of air fryers serve their purpose, but um, I'm super excited to see since Bryant and I, it was just me eating fairly healthy, but Bryant has decided to come along. So I need something a little bit that I can cook for two in here. So, all right, we're gonna start with these four and I've got Redmond Real Salt. Here, let me bring you a little bit closer here. I've got Redmond's Real Salt and that's the only thing I'm gonna season them up with. Um, we are trying to stay pretty clean with our eating. So, but if you would like teriyaki, you could, you could marinate it for a little bit. Um, some brown sugar, um, soy sauce, just black pepper, whatever you wanted to do. I just um, cooked a chicken, <laughs> had a little piece of chicken on it. Okay. So I am gonna use two of the pans for this. Um, it'll actually drip down onto one and hopefully drip on out. So I'm actually gonna use this pan. Let's see how many I can fit in here. Um, I think I can get one more. May just need to turn that one a little differently. And let's get this one in right here. Okay. So I'm going to stick that one in. And I'm also going to use this rack um, for a couple of them. If they will hold up on there. It's not really what it's meant for, but we're going to go with it. And I'm gonna to try to get one more. Oh, I believe I can get another. I believe I can get one more, guys. This is great. Didn't think I could. And if I squished them tight, I could actually probably get one more. But we're gonna stop there. Hang on guys. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> okay, so I'm putting the one with bigger racks um, down on the bottom so that the grease can I don't know if this is going to work get up here there you go alright 
All right. Now this is going to take several hours. I've got it set for six, but I will check it at the four hour mark. Let me just clear this out and show you how we're going to work this up. Let me bring you over here and how easy it was for me. The one who can't figure out how to turn a computer on could figure this out. You're going to hit the power button. Then we're going to hit function, air fry, pizza, uh, air roast, air roll, toast, pizza, bake, and you see the settings are changing. Bake, rotisserie, cookies, to warm up, reheat, proof, dehydrate. 170, now it, you can change this. Let's say I wanted different temperature. I wanted it 150. I could go down, but I'm gonna keep it at, I think I'm gonna maybe do 165. And let's, let's say I wanted to change the hours. Time, I can go down and it goes in five minute increments or 10 minute increments, sorry. And, but I'm gonna leave it at six, okay? So now all I need to do is hit start, which is the big button. We're just gonna press and looky there, there it goes. Now I'm actually gonna cut the light off because I don't want the bulb to burn out or anything because this is gonna take quite a while. So we're gonna turn the light off and it continues to go. And it is convection. It tells you when it's convection. This is top of the line, y'all. I am so excited. Hopefully this turns out really good. And hopefully this will be done so I can do my steaks in here tonight. I'm super excited because the one thing in the basket air fryer, I can only go up to 400 degrees. But in this, I think it goes much higher. So stay tuned. We'll do our steaks next. Okay, everybody. It's been a little less than three hours, maybe. I'm not sure. But let's take a look and see what's going on in there. Look at there, y'all. It's already looking good and dry. Y'all, I think that's just about ready. We'll give it just a few more minutes, and I believe that's going to be ready and delicious. Okay, everybody, I think these are good and done. So we're going to get them out. Bryant's actually already tasted this first one. So we're going to get them out and um, see what we think here. He broke off of this one right here. Don't they look good? I'm excited. Made my own jerky, ribeye jerky, no less. It comes with a thing to pull the racks out. It's just easier for me to grab this. All right, guys, we'll give it a taste in just a little bit. But there it is. Hey everybody, remember this is ribeye jerky, so it's got the pieces of fat on there. I'm going to be chewing a while. Okay guys, that is absolutely delicious. The jerky turned out great. I like mine with a little bit of chewiness to it, not completely crisp. So, um, I actually stopped it at the four hour mark. It is actually started over, but I took it out about four hours and that was perfect. And I'm tickled pink with this ribeye jerky. So I'll be taking me a snack to Bible school tonight. So, okay, stay tuned. We're going to get ready to fix our steaks for supper in the air fryer. Well, y'all, the 
jerky is almost already gone. I think there's like two and a half pieces left. Huge hit. It was delicious. So now it's time to move on and do our steaks. Now we'll say these are thin ribeyes uh, and that's what's going to be in this video. I do have some thicker ribeyes that we will do in the air fryer at another time. But today we're doing these two beautiful ribeyes. Um, they are thin. They're thin sliced. Uh, you can get these at Walmart. I actually really enjoy these. Uh, I really, really do. So I will let you know when I make the thick one how I like it. But we're going to do this. I'm going to season this up with just salt and pepper because I want the flavor of the steak to come through. So salt and pepper is all that's going on it. No fancy seasoning of any type. But let's come over here to the air fryer and I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm actually going to preheat this pretty hot. Well, not I'm going to see what it'll go to. Let's see. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to see what it will go to. All right, there's air fry. Let's see if I can go up on the temperature. 450. Okay, I'm going to preheat at 450. So it is actually in the preheating mode now, y'all. And I'm telling you, I have figured all this out right here, standing here in front of you. Um, no book because I lost the book. This is so user friendly. I can't even begin to tell you. Again, this air fryer is the name brand Comfy, C-O-M-F-E-E. -E, and I will link their product link down below. They do offer promotionals. Um, one just ended, unfortunately. However, um, they, I'm sure they'll have more in the future, but go check them out. I'm super excited about this. Um, I, I wasn't sure if it was going to be something I just tried out and then maybe gifted away. I don't think so. I think I'm going to hang on to it because I'm super duper enjoying it. Oh, I need to change the pans out. Hang on. I really didn't need to do that. I'll, in fact, I left everything in there. The only thing I did was I put the air fryer rack down one, uh, just I sat it on top of the other one. <laughs> but, um, so we are going to try this out. This is all that's left. It's maybe one, it's maybe just two pieces left. I think it's one full piece and two halves in here. And I'm actually going to take this with me to vacation Bible school tonight <laughs> and nibble on it. So I've got to hide it from Bryant before he gets home. He's ran to the church real quick. Um, Y'all, it is summertime here. But I have been so cold. And so finally, a little while ago, I ran into the bedroom. I put my sweatpants on, winter socks, and a sweatshirt on. And then I still didn't get warm. So I've cut the air off. The air conditioning is off. And my windows are up and the attic fan is on. So, maybe I'll get warm. I'm actually feeling very comfortable right now. So, I'm going to salt and pepper this up with uh, just regular black pepper and Redmond's Real Salt. I'm loving this stuff. I actually, they have got um, some smoked salts online. So, I'm actually going to, when I get these in the air fryer, I'm going to go to their website and order some of their smoked salts. I'm super in love with Redmond's right now. In love. Well, guys, I was videoing me putting the steaks in, and I don't know how much you got of that, but I will say I had left the grease in there from the dehydrating the, the ribeye shavings. That was a mistake, so be sure to take your grease out. Um, I had it in that bottom pan and just didn't think about it. I thought, well, it can catch the drippings from this, but as I turned the temperature up, it began to smoke. So, um, yeah, I'll take if you're going to turn it on high, be sure to get your grease out. Um, I showed you my little meat turner, and when I placed the steaks in there, there was a nice sizzle from where I had it at 450. I have since put it in, turned it down. I'm going to cook mine longer than Brian's. So we'll see. I'm going to check his at about the four minute mark, flip it over, and um, 
we'll see how it looks at that point. So, all right, we're gonna see how this does on steaks. All right, everybody, here is my steak and there's Bryant's, he's already dug into his. I made us a little bit of feta butter to go on top. And what'd you think? So you did it in the air fryer? Did it in the new air fryer. Okay. What do you think? Uh, so far I've had a little nibble. So I've just come in from working. It's hard to keep this thin of a steak rare. So I did overcook his a bit, but that's that's just my but, knowledge, but not. For, but for anybody else, it'd be just fine. Yes. Yeah. So six minutes. What you did it right. Yeah, and that, like I said, that is a thin cut ribeye, mm -hmm. and so it's kind of hard to determine how much. What kind of seasoning? Salt and pepper. Really good. Perfect. All right. There you have it. The only thing I can say is I did have to put mine on broil just a little bit because it didn't come out quite as brown and crispy looking as I like it. It's charred. But I am still learning. So far, I am loving this air fryer. Um, I've got some cleaning up to do because I did drip. The juices dripped inside and on the lid as I was getting the steaks out. Um, because I just kind of picked them up from in there. Um, so I've got some cleaning to do. And so when we come back, I'll let you know how easy it was to clean up. I'm going to cut it. it. The light just stays on till you cut it off. And I'll see you back after we've let it cool down and I've cleaned everything up. Okay, everybody, it's the next day. And I just wanted to show you that everything cleaned up beautifully perfectly it is not non-stick I mean it's not like that coating that just wipes off so um, it, but all I had to do hot soapy water and just a couple swipes of the dish rag and it was absolutely clean I would wash this one however every time I use it just to be sure you know that nothing cooks on and bakes on but um yeah i my thoughts right now are i do like this i like this a lot i can get more in it than i can get in my other i'm not getting rid of my basket air fryer i love it too but this does do good for bryant i touched it for bryant and i together uh, we can get more done in it i'm excited about to try wings in here super excited I just bought some so I'll bring you back whenever I decide to do wings I'll bring you back and we'll try this again with wings but for steaks and for the dehydrator it has worked perfectly so with this being said I give this item a thumbs up so I will share their link down in the description below so you can go check them out now hey don't forget to, uh, Thursday's video will be the Pioneer Woman's side dish and then Friday's will be the Pioneer Woman's dessert and we will see you guys next time right here on the Farm and Pastor's Wife. Remember if the grease is hot enough you can fry anything. Bye y'all.